I did want to ask you about Fantastic Four because I read what you said with the Emmys and I don't want to pry or ask for details, but more generally, because I, I again, I think uh, other people hearing about challenges and how you overcame them can yeah. be very helpful. So walking away from an experience like that, what would you say is maybe an actionable idea or a value you picked up from going through that, that you are now bringing to the sets that you're on to make sure everybody around you has an experience for the better? Um, well, I, I think that the thing that I always go back to on that one is that I should have, um, I think I should have listened to my instincts, followed my instincts more, you know, like when my gut was telling me like, you probably shouldn't let that slide what that person just said. Or, you know, if you're feeling a certain way about how, um, what an energy is like and how that is affecting your performance, you're being paid to do a certain thing. And if something is in the way of that, you know, you have the right to speak up and say, I'm actually not able to do what I am here to do because of X, Y, and Z. And you know, I think that speaking up is something that I really, I think that we all um, probably learn it over and over again to, to follow your instincts. And if you're feeling a certain thing that is uneasy or whatever, there's a reason for it. Um, but because it was such a big movie and it was like, you know, again, when you're in, a, usually, <laughs> except in this case, when you're in a, a big superhero movie, they usually do incredibly well. Like, almost always. So, you know, even if it's challenging or this or that, or, you know, not everything's perfect, like it's probably good for you to do it. That was sort of what I was being told and also was telling myself, you know, and I, I don't regret doing it at all, but I do regret not having, um, you know, stood up for myself. I, I, I regret that for sure. Because if my daughter ended up acting and, and was, you know, was in a situation like that where she felt like she couldn't speak up. Meanwhile, I'm a, I'm a pretty tough person and I do, I really do advocate for myself. Um, granted this was a few years ago and maybe this situation was different, but if, if I was in that situation today, it just wouldn't have, it wouldn't have happened or it just would have been a different environment, I think. Um, so again, like good learning experience, you know? Absolutely. And I appreciate you sharing that because I really am a big believer that someone out there might might have need to have heard that from an actor they admire like you and it could make all the difference. I also think asking people, this is another great, great lesson that I learned, asking other actors or, and I learned this lesson, not just on this movie, but on a couple other after that, asking other actors what their experience was like working with either a producer or a director or another actor. Um, I never used to do that. And now I do because I think that if you really respect another actor and they've worked with someone that you're thinking about working with or whatever, then you can learn a lot just by talking to them. Um, and I'm, I always say like, if anyone ever wants to ask me about my experiences, um, on things, then please do, because I, you know, I think that it's not always, if you're in a position where you can make a choice about doing something or not doing something, um, and we're not always, sometimes you just have to work. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you're in a position where you can doing the research, not just with the role, but with the people that you're about to work with creatively is really important. <laughs>